be look, we women watch the movies because he's so sexy, right? Well, if Jane Bond had men that were sexy, that's good for the women. Well, maybe she's bisexual in 2021. So you'll see sexy women too and sexy men. And then she goes and gets the enemy because she's got the secret women, you know, this Bond woman in her, you know. Woo! Woo! Women are not men. The foolishness of a woman playing James Bond. Black Widow is meh. Welcome to Manosphere Highlights Daily, with Daniel Craig making his final James Bond appearance. Talks about the next James Bond are inevitable. When he was asked about a woman playing James Bond, he had an interesting answer, and I quote, There should simply be better parts for women and actors of color. Why should a woman play James Bond when there should be a part just as good as James Bond, but for a woman? We agree with Daniel Craig on this one. But of course, there are people that disagree with what he said. And one of them is Didi Khan, who played Frenchie in the Grease movies 40 plus years ago. Now it's time for us to dive into this and do what we have to do. Because we men and we. Yeah, yeah. We men and we. Yeah. 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 And from Los Angeles, <laughs> actress Didi Khan, best known as Frenchie from Greece, of course, who thinks, why not? Let's redefine Bond and cast a woman. <laughs> so, Didi, tell us why Daniel Craig is yes. wrong and you're right. Well, you know, women have evolved from the time this whole wonderful sequence of fabulous Bond movies They've evolved to be independent, strong, not that they weren't always, but their roles, he's right, Daniel Craig, there should be more roles for women, but James Bond, James, Janie Bond, or Jamie Bond could be a woman, you know, I mean, no time to die. Hey, well, there's never a time in a woman's life to take time out to dye, you know, I mean, to dye her hair. She's busy. She's out there. She's in, in the midst of everything and strong. So why couldn't she be Bond? All right, well, let's you know, start. and also women bond better than men. Yeah. <laughs> Get it? Okay. You make a powerful, you make a powerful case. <laughs> No, grandma did not make a powerful case. This was a pep talk, a pep talk to make women feel better. And these pep talks lack substance. It's always the same jibber jabber girl power rubbish. We're strong, we're strong. What the hell does that mean? Just being strong means you can replace James Bond? And then she says women bond better than men. <laughs> the foolishness. Not in modern day society. Let's give her another go. Could be. Look, we women watch the movies because he's so sexy, right? Well, if Jane Bond had men that were sexy, that's good for the women. Well, maybe she's bisexual in 2021. So you'll see sexy women too and sexy men. And then she goes and gets the enemy because she's got the secret women, you know, this Bond woman in her, you know? She just told you exactly why it does not work. Who is James Bond? This is a short description. James Bond, British literary and film character, a peerless spy, notorious womanizer and masculine icon. The last two are immediate problems when a woman plays Bond. A woman is not a man, so she cannot be a masculine icon. So they emasculate, dumb down the males in the movies to make the woman look stronger. Black Widow did a good job at that. idiots, buffoons, or evil men. And men in general are not attracted to masculine women. So how are you going to replace the womanizer aspect? 
both men and women love the traditional dynamic between each other. You have women who complain that men don't approach them even though they are so strong and independent and don't want to be a traditional woman. But when it comes to dating, now she wants to be a traditional woman. And to take it a step further, it's not that they are not approached. It's that they are not approached by James Bond, Chad and Tyrone. So with a female lead, they will have to upgrade her love interest because women don't want to date down. And a good example is the Jessica Jones series. In season 1, they paired her up with Luke Cage, who is also a superhero. Black Widow did not have a love interest, even though all of the solo Avengers superhero movies have this dynamic. There is always a woman, even Doctor Strange hints at a little romance between him and Palmer, and why their relationship didn't work. You had fun. They weren't about us, they were about you. Not only about me. Steve, everything is about you. You can feel the chemistry between the two. Man and a woman interacting, dancing like tango. The man leads and the woman follows, however she is essential because she decorates and colors the visual and experience with her femininity. This dynamic disappears when you let a woman play Bond. And the next point, a peerless spy. When it comes to movies, we look for authenticity. Can you make it look real? Can you make it look believable? We're not hating on women, but if you're gonna put a woman in an action role, it needs to be authentic. It needs to be believable. One of my favorite movies is Terminator 2. And Sarah Connor nailed it! When she was shooting that shotgun, that was incredible. But look at this here. This is not an exaggeration. This is what she's doing. I don't, I don't know, know who choreographed, choreographed this mess, but, but it is, is an absolute dog's breakfast piece of junk, okay? okay? Is there a need for a female bond? Can a female bond bring you the same level or not a higher level of excitement? Write and shoot the movie because it makes sense. Don't force this foolishness on us. Black Widow wasn't a flop when it came to money, even though it underperformed the Avengers standard. But the movie was meh. The reason we watch is because of its association with the Avengers and we didn't get what we wanted. This movie was not necessary. And that's exactly what's gonna happen with a female James Bond. You piggyback on the name and make an unnecessary movie, pissing off the existing fan base in the process. When you go woke, you go broke. Just take a look at Star Wars. No, yeah, I just think it's all crazy. I just think it's all crazy, really. We love James Bond, and that's what Ian Fleming gave us, and that's what Ian Productions have given us for the last 60 odd years, and that's how it should stay. Manosphere, we working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted.